Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing my nighttime pamper routine or like my skincare routine that I do for acne. So, yeah, let's get into the video. I hope you enjoy. And I'm sorry if the lighting's a bit weird, it is nighttime currently because obviously I'm not going to do my nighttime skincare routine in the daytime because it's nighttime. <laughs> but I've got my light on, so I hope the quality's alright. But yeah, let's get into the video. <laughs> So I'm sorry if you keep seeing me like look up that way because I'm watching Friends currently but we are going to start off with taking off my makeup. So I'm going to use I'm gonna use coconut oil to take off my makeup. Now I always use coconut oil to, make, to take off my makeup all the time. It's just sort of my my go-to thang. I love coconut oil. It's nice and soft as well. Oh, and I have an itch. Makeup removing and coconut oil. <laughs> okay, makeup removing and coconut oil in my eye. Um, I find that always happens. I always put too much on. Always end up getting coconut oil in my eye somewhere. But I just have to go blurry for a little while till it goes away. But now I wash my face and I use a Freedom Clean and Clear. This isn't clean and good. And I use Freedom Exfoliating Daily Wash just to wash my face. I need my. Oh. <laughs> yeah, this is what I use just to wash my face. So now it's time to exfoliate. So to exfoliate, I use Sukin's Super Green Detoxifying Official Scrub. That was a lot to say. And this is really amazing. They've got a blend of kale, spirulina, and parsley to promote healthy, glowing complexion, while jojoba beads and bamboo gently exfoliate the skin. It's suitable for all skin types. I love um, Sukin. It's a really, really good brand, and you can actually get these off Amazon, or if you live in the UK, you can get them in Boots. But yeah, they're really, really good. They're organic, and they're on they're an Australian natural skincare. So, but yeah, this is what I like to use to exfoliate my face anyway. And they smell amazing. Like this, literally, it smells of sherbet, and it's just the best smell. So now our face is all nice and washed and prepped, it's time for our face mask. Now, this face mask stinks. <laughs> so basically we've got the, um, we've got Indian Healing Clay. So this is Health and Beauty Aztec Secret Indian Healing Clay, world's, world's most powerful facial for deep pore cleansing. And it's 100% natural calcium bentonite clay. So I got this off Amazon and this is supposed to be really, really good for getting everything out of your skin. It says for facials, acne, body wraps, clay buffs, foot soaks, chilled clay for knee packs and insect bites. Enjoy the benefits of clay in your own home. Beauty, beautify and refresh. It removes impurities and dirt from the pores. It's deep pore cleansing, world's most powerful facial. So basically what this does, it's a... Uh, it's a calcium bentonite clay and it's supposed to just draw all of the impurities out of your skin so quickly. Like, oh, it's it's really, really good. It's really good. It's just pure bentonite clay. 
but it's really good. It gets all the impurities out of your skin, and it's for all skin types, really. I mean, obviously, it benefits more if you do have acne, but it is for all skin types. But my skin was really, really bad, and I had spots all over my chin, all over my forehead, and then ever since I started using this, my acne went down literally the next day. So it is really amazing, and you have to mix it with equal parts of apple cider vinegar. And I think everyone knows by now that apple cider vinegar is really, really amazing for your skin. It's got a lot of good health benefits. But yeah, so what I... It says equal parts, but I find equal parts makes it a little bit runny. So I don't usually do equal parts. But yeah, so I got this little like bowl set off Amazon that comes with little measuring things. So I usually measure out... Let's see. Okay. Five... 15, 2.5. So I'm guessing this is 5 millilitres. It just says 5 on it. Oh, I nearly dropped it. I'm just taking a scoop. I just take like a heaped scoop of this stuff, put it into my bowl. And then take. The same thingy and do the same measurement but obviously it won't be heaped it's really hard to do this high up and honestly I have this feeling that smells absolutely disgusting but yeah I'll show you you can't really see it oh it's easy it it's foaming up it's, it stinks so bad I hate the smell of vinegar I hate it now on the packet it says mix it till it becomes a paste, so that's what I usually do, but this is a bit thick, so this is what I've got, and I think it's a bit thick, so I'm going to add a little tiny bit more vinegar, just a teeny bit, ugh, stinks so bad, seriously, so bad, if you look... I don't, literally don't know anyone who likes the smell of vinegar. See, I know this is like really naive for me, but when I first got apple cider vinegar, I thought it would smell like apples. <laughs> but no, it doesn't. It just, it just smells like vinegar that you put on chips that you get at the chip shop. That's what it smells like. Okay, so this is what I've got it to at the moment. So it's not runny that it will like, no, it's not runny that it will fall out or anything, but... That's what the consistent. That's what the consistency is. I can't talk. That's going in there. And I've just got my brush, and I'm just going to paint it on my face. Put it on the face mask, but I literally just finished putting it on. And yeah, this is what it looks like. It says to, that it takes um, 10 to 15 minutes dry, depending on how sensitive your skin is. So if you've got really sensitive skin, then wash it off after 10 minutes. And if you don't, then wash it off after 15 to 20 minutes. I usually on, usually leave it on for like 20 minutes. And you can mix this mask with water if you want to, and which I did start doing before I got apple cider vinegar. But I personally think that it didn't have the same effect because I was putting it on with water and like I was like eh, I don't understand why everyone's got such a big hype about this clay stuff but then I use it with apple cider vinegar and it works so much better so it's definitely worth trying it with apple cider vinegar for sure but I'm just gonna leave this to dry for 15 to 20 minutes okay so as you can see I can barely talk right now and I am my face is really tight <laughs> it really sounds really funny. <laughs> hmm. Just me raising my eyebrows. Okay, so. <laughs> so funny, oh god. Okay, I'm going to have a shower and all wash this off properly. 
and wash my hair and everything and then I'll be back when it's all done. Alright guys, welcome back to my video. I've just got out in the shower and I have extremely puffy hair. So what I'm going to use as a toner is I have a half apple cider vinegar and a half water. I'll just spray this on the cotton pad and um, wipe it around my face. And this literally stinks so bad. I hate the smell of vinegar. I like the taste of it on my chips. I hate the smell of it. I literally feel like my face smells like a bag of greasy chips. <laughs> but now I'm going to be using my Neutrogena Visibly, Visibly Clear Pink Grapefruit Oil Free Moisturiser. This is my number one moisturiser that I've used for years now. And I always try and go and like explore different moisturisers, explore different companies and stuff like that. But I always end up going back to this moisturiser, always, always, always. I don't know what it is, but whenever I switch moisturisers, my skin always breaks out. Or I switch moisturisers because my skin's breaking out and I want to try something different. And nothing works. Sorry, I'm nearly run out of this, so I have to fold it over and try and squeeze it out. And it's really frustrating. So I can't squeeze it out. Okay, there we go. <laughs> But yeah, I always go back to it. I find that it literally works so good for my skin. So perfect for my skin type. It's got no oil in it, so it's really good if you've got acne. It's really good if you've got a sensitive skin and it leaves your face feeling like really cool and fresh. It's such a nice moisturiser. And like I say, I always go back to it. Always. And I've used it maybe for like five years, four years, whenever I started. <laughs> Using moisturiser, I can't remember now. Oh, now that's nice and soaked in and my hair is sticky. So that is my nighttime um, routine, my nighttime skincare routine for acne. Um, so I hope you all enjoyed this video and I hope some of you guys who do suffer with acne do try out some of the things that I have used because this has really worked for me. I know everyone's skin is different and it doesn't work for everyone. But at least try out the clay and the apple cider vinegar because my fiance's sister also, well she's the one that introduced me to the clay actually and she loves it as well and it's done her skin amazing and it's done their mum's skin amazing as well so I think yeah at least try the clay. I'll see if I can find it and link it down below for you guys and yeah so I hope you all enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!